Our next guest, uh, Marjorie Taylor Green, Congresswoman from Georgia. Uh, you deserve applause, Marjorie. I remember having you on the program back when you were the first one to introduce those articles under a Democrat-controlled House. And as you just explained on the floor today, we all saw how that went. Now let's fast forward two years and look at all of the baggage that we have learned about this Biden crime family. And then I'd like to put some icing on the cake, too, Marjorie, before I give you the mic. And that is on top of all the corruption, on top of the lies, on top of this fake Ukraine war spending our money when he's obviously being bribed, how about the damn border? This man should be impeached for so many reasons. You and I don't have time in a one-hour show to discuss them. Welcome back. Yeah, that's right, Dan. I also introduced articles of impeachment against Joe Biden for the border. I did that last Congress as well. Um, no, Joe Biden and his family, the corruption is well known. Uh, and anyone that paid attention to the Hunter Biden laptop story, or at least people that were able to hear about it, even though the story was essentially censored and covered up mm -hmm. because of the 2020 presidential election, Everyone knows that the Bidens are corrupt, but here's here's some deeper concerns of mine. We have plenty of proof to impeach Joe Biden. We will be getting even more proof to convince Republican members of Congress that voting for impeachment is the right thing to do. But I'm concerned about the courage here in the House of Representatives, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm losing uh, patience. This needs to happen, and it needs to happen immediately just because of something you talked about, the war in Ukraine. And Peter Schweitzer is absolutely correct. There's a connection there between Zelensky and Joe Biden and U.S. involvement in Ukraine. And I, and I would go further to add, I would like to know more information about President Trump's first impeachment. Never forget, it was over a phone call with, with Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, that the Democrats led to impeachment hoax number one. Mm -hmm. And I believe that there was collusion and coordination between uh, the Democrats and Joe Biden uh, with Zelensky uh, in this impeachment effort of President Trump the first time. I also believe that the United States is on the hook and American taxpayers are funding a war in Ukraine that's murdering people every single day. Innocent people are dying. And it's also affecting the grain, um, the grain, uh, uh, the ability for people to receive grain all over the world because of this war. None of this should be happening. This even affects farmers in my district and, and their cost of farming with fertilizers and, and everything involved. Um, but this has to end, and the way to end it is through impeaching Joe Biden and revealing all of the corruption. And that has to happen with an impeachment inquiry first, uh, with further impeachment investigations, and, and finally, impeachment hearings and a vote on impeachment. I couldn't agree more. I mean, you brought up such a good point. That first impeachment was all about the phone call, of which the American people had full access to the transcripts. I read them. I'm sure you did. Trump did nothing wrong. What he did wrong, and you just alluded to it, was he started sniffing around what the hell was going on in Ukraine back in the day when JoJo was VP. And oh, 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 the Democrats could not have that for the guy who was running against Trump in 2020. And so this is what you do. You impeach the guy. It's Well, look at what they did to me, Dan. As soon yep. as I introduced articles of impeachment for that very corruption, two weeks later, uh, Nancy Pelosi kicked me off all of my committees and then claimed it was for Facebook comments before I was ever a member of Congress. That was not it at all. It's because I was right over the target, just like President Trump was when he was asking about corruption and asking about Hunter Biden and his corrupt business deals, uh, being on the board of Burisma. But now we know through the 1023 form that's un classified, by the way, mm -hmm. that Joe Biden took a $5 million bribe and so did Hunter Biden. $5 million to one Biden and $5 million to another Biden, as Lachevsky, the oligarch that owns Burisma, put it and said it to our FBI informant. You know, Marjorie, here, here's the thing with D.C., and here's how the American people look at this. Uh, this is Dan Ball, the regular dude, not in the news biz 30 years or ever ran for Congress or know anything about what happens in the halls of Congress and behind those halls in the backdoor deals. This is regular American Dan paying taxes. They will deny, deny, deny. You guys will go, go, go. You might impeach, you not impeach. They're making money hand over fist right now, still doing backdoor deals. They're still rich as hell. Joe's supposed to be worth 150, 200 million, whatever. And then if he does get impeached or he's not, he's out of office soon or he's kicked out. And they go on with their lives. He won't see jail time, neither does Hunter. And they still walk away with their millions. And this is why the American people and the regular Dan Ball are so pissed off about the system. Because nothing happens.
Sorry. Well, Dan, I have to tell you, you're <laughs> preaching to the choir. I may be a member of Congress, but I feel exactly the same way you do. And I feel exactly the same way the American people do. But I can assure you it's even worse and more frustrating for me watching it unfold in the day to day here in the halls of Congress. It makes me sick to my stomach. America should never be in this place. We should never be in this situation. And we should never have these pathetic people running our country. So I just want you to know I, I completely agree with well, you. Well, we know you're a fighter. And I, speaking of more dirty deals, this is why I know that they're gearing up for something bad to happen because they're trying to fleece out as much cash as they can from every angle. Put the headline up real quick. Hunter Biden just sold more of his <laughs> crappy art, let's call it what it is, for $1.3 million, and the buyer just happens to be a close Democrat and a big donor to Joe Biden, who then received a prestigious commission from Joe Biden after he bought this art. So they're still doing the deals, Marjorie, every day, because they know if the hammer does come down, thanks to you and other Republicans with the <clears throat> you-know-whats to do something about it, they're going to have all the money, they won't see jail, and they'll sit on the sidelines. Let me end this with something a little bit um, lighter, if you will, but I want to ask you one more serious one, and then we'll, we'll get light at the end. Hunter Biden's lawyer now wants you investigated <laughs> for an ethics complaint because you held up those dirty pictures of his client and showed people exactly what human trash scum Hunter is for most likely getting underage girls to do some horrific things while doing drugs and everything else and then making backdoor deals for his daddy. And they didn't like that. So they want you investigated for ethics. <laughs> Your response, Marjorie. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. These are the same people that, that endorse and support drag queen shows where men are showing their uh, genitals to children at parades. Mm -hmm. These are the same people that want the book uh, Gender Queer in all kids' libraries and, and school curriculums uh, exposing children to LGBTQ, you know, children to all kinds of perverse sexual things. These are the same people that are offended that I showed pictures of sex videos that Hunter Biden filmed himself with prostitutes that he that he brought across the country, which is human sex trafficking. Um, he filmed those videos himself and then he uploaded them to porn sites, Dan. He did that himself. Wow. So if anyone's offended at me showing the actual proof of Hunter Biden's crimes, they shouldn't be offended at me showing the proof. They should be offended at Hunter Biden himself and the entire Biden administration for hiding all of this, covering it up, and not allowing the American people to know how disgusting and filthy the, and perverted the Biden family is. And, and shame on them and shame on Joe Biden and shame on Hunter Biden's attorney. Hunter Biden's attorney should quit working for Hunter Biden instead of sending me a letter for an ethics investigation. Yeah. All right. I said we'd end on good. So recently I saw one of your posts. You were down in Florida filming a music video with a good friend of this show, Forgiato Blow. He's a conservative Christian rapper. We love the guy because he doesn't rap about, you know, drugs and hoes and nasty stuff like most rappers. Let's be real. And so here's a little taste. I want to show some of this video. It just dropped. Um, and the lyrics in this, MTG is our MAGA MVP is one of the main uh, lines. I love it. How much fun was this to go down there and film this music video with Forgiato and his guys? Oh, it was so much fun. Uh, I really appreciate Forgiato Blow. He was highlighting my bill, the Protect Children's Innocence Act, that Republicans need to vote and pass. We need to get this done in the House because it would stop the transgender surgeries on kids, stop puberty blockers and hormone treatments. I mean, this is just unreal evil happening to children in this country. And Forgiato Blow was so nice to, to write, make this great song and invite me to be in the video. So we had so much fun. Um, I, I can't wait to see him again. It was it was really a good time. It's a catchy tune too and a great <laughs> video. Marjorie, as always, I know you gotta run because you're busy, thank goodness. You're actually one of the few up there working hard for us. Thank you so much, you take care. Thank you, Dan, yep. thank you.